Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new video and to the end of this video, we're going to turn this old Wi-Fi router into an outdoor CP. So I have this old outdoor CP from Ubiquiti, which is now about 8 to 10 years old. It just died. So it's right now it just stopped working. It's not working anymore. In India, this kind of CP is quite expensive. It's start from 3 to 4,000 rupees and up to 10, 20,000 rupees. So that's the reason I don't want to invest my money on buying a new CP because I don't need much speed 10 mb 20 mbps is more than enough for me so as you see this 10 uh, tp link is 4000 rupees uh, this 5 gigahertz cp is 5200 rupees so this is quite expensive so I thought like why not I will turn this old wi-fi router that I'm not using anyway it's lying around I will turn it into a outdoor cp main problem with this kind of indoor router is that it's not designed to be an outdoor CP because it is not waterproof. So first we need to make something that is water resistant. Uh, we will try to make it water resistant using some kind of plastic wrapper. So things that we need for this modification is first is our router. Then this is optional. This is a PoE converter. Uh, it is optional. And then few plastic wrapper, a tape, and a enclosure you can buy a weatherproof enclosure if you want but i am going to with this plastic enclosure which is not waterproof but we will make it waterproof so guys let's get started let's do the main modification first we're going to reset the router to reset the router we're going to press and hold this wi-fi slash reset button this button for a couple of seconds and now this light is started blinking that means the Wi-Fi is resetted. So now we're going to find out the router IP address. To find the router IP address, you can go to this internet and network settings. Then go to Ethernet, change adapter option. And this is a status, so details. So this is the gateway, so 192.168.0.1. This is the Wi-Fi router address. So we'll go 192.168.0.1. .1. So generally the router address is on 92.168.0.1 or on 192.168.1.1 or Now this is the router Now we're going to set this router as a Wi-Fi repeater So first it's asking for a static POIP dynamic I will choose it a static IP address Now saved Next we're going to the internet settings and we're going to use this universal repeater mode. Okay. Now it will scan for the one nearest access point. So now it's find a couple of Wi-Fi access points. So we'll connect with this tender in4 and we will repeat this signal. Now we need to put the password here. Okay now password. Now let's connect it. It's now rebooting. So this option is varies from router to router. Just depends on the company. Even it is depends on the framework that you are using. If the process I did, it's probably different for you guys. So I cannot specify uh, this process for your router. But uh, you can do uh, some research on internet how to uh, use your old router as a Wi-Fi repeater. Now I think it's IP address is on 92.168 dot 10 dot on on zero yeah so now it's connected and as you see and the net is working wi-fi so everything is set it up uh, it is pretty simple on this standard wi-fi router now can i go to google yeah net is working little bit slow because i am far away from the router as you guys this wi-fi antenna is pretty long and it will be hard for me to fit inside this box so what are you going to do we're going to unplug this antenna cover so we'll press a little bit and it will open one then we'll do same thing two three and four next we will place this pcb here like this way to secure this antenna here we're going to use some dual sided tape now it's done 
Now you can easily put this antenna inside this box. Oh, nice. And the main Ethernet cable connect here. Now I'm going to put this router inside this plastic wrap so that we can protect this router or electronics from rain. Cutting the excess plastic. Now here I am placing some aluminium sheet and hoping for it will get some a little better signal. Now it's packed. Now I am going to cover this box with another plastic cover. So that it will become 100% waterproof, rainproof. Guys, the packing is complete. It's near about waterproof, but for extra security, we're going to put another plastic and then we'll take it to on the roof and test this router whether it is giving a good signal or not, whether we can use it as a, a external CPU or not. So guys, let's take it out. Now guys, I'm taking all of this thing to my friend house and this is my house and my friend house is, see, the Toto is going. It's near about there, there this post. So it's around near 100 meter plus. So I'm going there and my router is here. So this is cozy house, this one. And my house is over there. So I'm on my friend's roof. Let's see whether we can catch the Wi-Fi signal using this DIY CPE. So guys, here it is installed. And my house is down way there, it's near about 100 meter plus. So plugged in everything, let's turn on the switch, switch is turned on and here is the indoor router. I connect the LAN cable to this Wi-Fi router WAN port and now let's test the speed. So I'm getting around 15 to 20 Mbps download speed and upload speed is little bit more around 25 Mbps. So I am pretty happy with the speed I am getting. Guys, it's been more than a month I am using that DIY CPU. It's working flawlessly without any problem. Guys, it's raining and the Wi-Fi router is way down there. In rain, in sun, it's working 24 hours. It's working properly without any problem and I am able to share my internet with my friends without any problem so the diy cp is working great uh, next we're going to install some antenna because inside this we have a directional antenna and on the cp we just uh, use the inbuilt uh, omnidirectional antenna which gives you a little bit low range a little bit less range but if we use some kind of directional antenna the range can go up to two to three kilometer line up side but if there is any kind of obstacle between those two router the signal uh, will be hampered and we will not get much speed. So guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys like this video and if you like it, make sure to smack a big thumbs up on this video and I will meet you on my next video. Till then, bye bye.